Around the Ozarks for you, just a week ago, Nashville was devastated by a tornado that claimed at least 24 lives. The South and Midwest know quite well how that all can change in just a few minutes, all because of Mother Nature. Our State of the Ozarks contributor, Josh Heston, shows us the importance of this week in Missouri's history, as it was 100 years ago tomorrow, a town called Melva was here and then gone. At the turn of the 20th century, this area south of Hollister was a mining district, and right here was a whistle-stop town on the railroad. But 100 years ago, that all changed. The storm system had produced a major tornado that started around the Long Creek Bridge, uh, Big Cedar Lodge, and it came across Turkey Creek and hit the families of Melva and destroyed the town. Eleven people died right here. Uh, nine of those were children. This tiny Ozarks town became a place of tragedy on that March day in 1920. The Mankey children went to the box children to play. Their house was right on the creek and when the tornado hit they were all thrown into Turkey Creek which was at flood stage. For Tammy Morton and Angel Wolf, these stories are personal. My great great grandparents were Mary Elizabeth and Preston Mankey. They owned the general store and post office. Little Bill was the youngest child of Preston and Mary Elizabeth Mankey. Uh, he was seven years old. Little Bill was playing with his big brother Reggie. At one point, I think he even had a hold of Little Bill's coat, um, but the current was too swift and it swept him on downstream. His mother was a writer and a poet and she wrote a poem called Lost and basically it was a lament about how could we have failed him Lord to let him struggle in the dark waters to die alone. Both historians find profound meaning in their research. We don't want to remember the tragedy as much as we want to remember the people and all the good stories that came out of Melva. There were people living ordinary lives and it just like that, it can change. And I think any lesson anybody could take out of it is you don't know how much time you have. In Hollister. Make the most of it while you're here. Josh Heston, Ozarks First. So tomorrow is the anniversary of the tornado. If you want to learn more, there's a presentation that will be at, a, uh, at 5 p.m. at the Branson Centennial Museum, as well as a 2 o'clock Tuesday talk on March 17th at the Branson Centennial Museum. Finally, a presentation at Hollister's Hattitude Ball is planned. That'll be happening on May 1st.